The Highlands of Kenya have been producing world-class distance athletes for decades. With hundreds of miles of winding roads, it's no surprise that this high-altitude training camp is one of the world's premier sources of future world and Olympic athletics champions. Although the talent pool in Kenya runs deep, producing the finished article is far from easy. Not only do young runners need help with their physical and mental approaches to competition, they also require constant financial support. Transworld Sport recently travelled to Kenya to meet Pauline Kori Kuyang. She's an athlete with dreams of Olympic glory, who's part of the G4S14 project that we've been following. It was really great to be selected for the program and given the chance to join the G4S team, considering the number of great athletes we have here in Kenya. G4S have been great with the support and assistance they've given me, and hopefully this help will stand me in good stead when it comes to the Olympics in London in 2012. Olympic 2012, London. Oh, thank you very much. The aim of the G4S14 program that was set up in 2007 is to nurture and support 14 up-and-coming young sportsmen and women from around the world as they seek to fulfill their potential on the biggest sporting stage. A former junior world champion, Pauline, who competes in cross-country and the three and five thousand meters, is being mentored along with the other young athletes by Ethiopian distance runner Haile Gebrselassie. What I'm trying to do for athletes like Pauline is simply share my experiences of how I got to where I am today and what I used to do when I was their age. I offer them tips like what kind of training they have to do and how to relax before an event to become successful. Simple things, but very important nonetheless. Haile was recently a special guest at G4S's launch of their sponsorship deal with a local football team, Mathari Youth. Mathari Valley, on the outskirts of Nairobi, is one of the biggest slums in Africa. It houses half a million people, all of whom are on or below the poverty line. Gebra Selassie also held a light training session for members of Pauline's local running club. It's great that I have the opportunity to work with Haile and talk to him about my running and training. I feel very privileged getting advice from him and it makes me even more determined to follow in his footsteps and achieve my goals. Pauline is a member of the Pokot tribe and hails from the remote village of Kaptabuk in western Kenya. Growing up, she used to run to and from school, as well as train whilst at school, and then would help out at home with the daily chores. In 2006, she was voted the most promising sportswoman of the year in Kenya. Her parents are very proud. We're very happy for her. I don't know how to express my joy at her success. I'm grateful to G4S and hope they continue to support and help our daughter. I'm so happy with what they've helped her achieve. Oh, great. Pauline trains in Eldoret, where she works with Claudio Berardelli, and in Nairobi, where she's coached by Gregory Kilonzo. Kilonzo has experienced success with one of his former athletes, 2008 Olympic women's 800-meter gold medalist Pamela Jalimo. Pauline is a very strong runner. She's a dedicated student, but is still at school, so she has to work twice as hard to make sure she balances her education with her athletics. Working with both men has been positive for Pauline. 
In 2006, she took gold at the Junior Cross Country World Championships in Japan and silver in the 3,000 meters at the Junior Athletics World Championships in Beijing. I was ecstatic at the time. It wasn't just because I'd won a medal. I was really proud standing beneath my country's flag when I received my medal. It was great to win the gold medal, but my aim now is to train hard so that I have a chance to win gold at the 2012 Olympics in London. It would be a great achievement if I could do that. With two years still to go till the Olympics in London, the Commonwealth Games in India later this year will be a good test for the talented youngster. I have to put in a lot of hard work in training. I mean, that's why other athletes succeed. Whatever I want to achieve, I will have to work hard to get it. Pauline has a great chance if she works hard. She has the right training plan and her coaches are giving her all the advice she needs. And she's receiving the right support away from the track too. So come the 2012 Olympics, she'll be a very competitive athlete and I think she could achieve her goal of winning a medal. Could Pauline Corrie-Quiang become only Kenya's second women's Olympic champion? We'll keep you posted on her progress.